Now this is the Shockner Safe 3714 square feet below the $2 million bandwidth all in all 5 levels for your family Just have a look at how this design Beautiful Wow Neutral Wow Follow Property Impress today for this Strata landed home tour Let's go Every unit right here out of 254 units, these are all strata cluster houses and every strata house have a total of 5 levels which made up of the basement level, 3 levels in the middle, at the roof terrace level. So this particular strata house, 3714 square feet, a total of 5 bedrooms, 5 bathrooms, 2 private parking lots. We also have a nice front and backyard, dry and wet kitchen and renovation right here is less than 4 years old, done in 2017. A total of about $200,000 has been pumped into the renovation. So a little bit about shocknesses was that when this project was first being developed in the D27 enclave, a lot of people were thinking, hey, why is there like a new breed of properties that has arised? Because traditionally, in the past, there were only pure landed properties and strata cluster housing only came on scene about 15 to 20 years back. Just have a look at the land size of shocknesses vis-a-vis Sky's Motonia, Motonia Residences, Signature at Ishun and Kaitiron. You'll notice that the land size here is huge, but the density is low. And these are all low rise, max at three and a half story on the ground level. Compared to the neighboring projects, they're all largely made of high rise, higher density developments. But most importantly is that this project is not like any other strata cluster projects because it has a host of full condo facilities right here, including a tennis court, which is simply unheard of. So on top of that, you also have two pools, a clubhouse, visitors parking, you have barbecue pits, you have a gym, you have a steam room, kids playground, and a lot of lawn space for your family to walk around. This location is also pretty interesting because you're just right in front of Orchard Country Club. Of course, Orchard Country Club will be moved in the year 2030. We are not sure what plans are there, but definitely I think whatever plan is coming up is definitely going to be very exciting for the D27 precinct. If you notice, the exact location of Shortlessies is also within a nice private residential enclave. Right opposite, of course, there are a nice couple of BTOs coming up at the tail end of the Yishun estate. But importantly, you are at the start point going into Yishun, but you're also very close in terms of proximity to the Salita area as well as to the Amokyo and Yochukang area. So this is fantastic because you have so many ways to travel outwards towards the city. You can go towards Amokyo, Bishan, Loni and Tuapayo very easily. When you turn out from a project towards the left hand side, when you turn right, that will then bring you towards Salita West Link and that will bring you towards the Sengkang and Pongu and TPE very quickly. Alright, now that you're good for the introduction, uh, let me bring you down to the basement where we kickstart the home tour. Let's go. Now, just have a look at the basement because basements are so important when you are looking for a strata cluster house. And on top of having two private parking lots, something about shocknesses is that out of the 254 units right here, there are dedicated visitor lots along the sideways. Let's have a look at the basement layout because within this basement level, there are so many good things packed in terms of its layout segregation. Just have a look at this first zoning. This is tucked within the wall line. And I think the theme for the basement right here in this particular shortnesses unit is definitely storage, storage, and storage. So have a look at all these storage options right here. These are all for your shoes. So I think you can place in like close to 100 pairs of shoes. And you have like a nice pocket storeroom right here tucked within this corner. So this is like a mini storeroom, which is pretty deep. And below your stairway, there is still another storage space. So I want to show you this portion here. So if you notice, renovation is almost like brand new because our owners plumbing closed about $200,000 of renovation just in the year 2017 when they bought the place. Something to know about shocknesses was that because it was completed in the year 2007, right now it's about 14 years old in the year 2021. If you're buying, of course, from a first-hand owner, you can spend renovation costing to renovate into the taste that you want. Because the renovation is only less than four years old, you're almost getting as good as new. And the amount of renovation pumped in is significant in the sense that all the bathrooms has been revamped and later as we head upstairs you're going to enjoy the theme of the renovation just have a look at this room so this room has three combination factors one is of course there is a dedicated corner for sewing and then you have a second zoning right here for drumming and of course just behind me the entire width is all dedicated to storage so whatever that you buy from the grocery store whatever that you buy from shopping malls just park your cars outside 
head into the basement and then place everything right here within your basement level. So the design is made in a sense for your home to be functional and not forgetting at the top, these are all storage space where you put in a lot more things so you can just store everything here. You even have place for additional fridge over at this direction and something to note is that the basement level ceiling height is fantastic which is the key reason why on top of your home shelter which is the third storage room that you have you still have this top portion and there's like an L corner at the top which I always have very put in sliding panel doors these are also over the top storage for you to put in more things as well so this is a second bathroom I mean, but this is meant for like a yard WC toilet so it also has shower facilities but this is the second bathroom that you have you have a dedicated yard zone for your washer come dryer Paulus has done up a little bit of see-through shelter at the top you still get nice beautiful sunlight coming in so you can have this area dedicated for your clothes drawings so when you have space you definitely have the options to put in a lot of key things that you want within your living area just have a look at level one and what are some of the key things that our owners have already put in here for their family so you have a nice space for your piano here for your kids to enjoy you have a space for nice wine chiller over at this corner you have a space for a nice huge massage chair not forgetting that you also have the dry and the wet kitchen concept and you also have a backyard for gardening let's check out the front yeah. This is not like a micro front yard. This is really like a legit front yard. Awning has already been done. This is a great space for you to put in an outdoor dining set or you can just put in all your kids' toys and uh, bicycles right here so that they can push out the bikes because this is also the connection to the park connector. So there are cycling routes right on towards the Lita Country Club zoning as well. So flooring wise, living dining area are all done with vinyl flooring. So vinyl of course is scratch proof, is waterproof as well. Living room space is great. Ceiling height is very decent. So even after the ceiling fan is being done, you still have a very good height. Aircons are all new. These are all Daikin inverter system. One in the living and one in the dining. So as you can see, even after putting in an L-shaped couch and putting it after a nice massage chair, you still have so much room to move around. TV console space is done in a fashion that these are all movable furnitures. So in the event, if you want to design any TV, TV console or bookshelves right here. You have a nice concave portion right here for you to do up. I want to bring your attention to this nice glass panel. Why is it that it's designed with a glass? Because that sheds light into the basement stairway and this complements the entire design because the light comes from the front and the back and it permits towards the basement level as well. Dining area, 8-seater, 10-seater. I think up to you when you have space, you can bring any size of dining uh, that you want. Importantly, if you want to enclose the dry and the wet kitchen or maybe just to enclose the wet kitchen portion, this is doable because there is a nice space and this wall line is just perfect for you to put in a sliding glass panel so you can put it up here. When you come into the wet kitchen, there is like a three burner system for heavier cooking two sinks right here now, of course the dishwasher space has already been done so when you see an existing dishwasher it means that the pipes the inlet and outlets are all already pre-built and designed so even if you don't bring your own dishwasher it's very convenient and as you move towards the dry kitchen we love the storage we love the design theme beautiful neutral very easy to put in any form of furniture to complement the existing fittings and fixtures and wall colors plus carpentry color so there is this ubic system over here and then you can put in like more attachment plugs if you have more appliances at the countertop yeah so a couple of pull outs here which is useful and you have more pull outs at this direction as well below the sink also have a lot more storage at the bottom so these are of course the items that are very useful so you can open up pull out fully maximized to the end and soft closure so you can put in a load of items chest height oven very functional easy to prep easy to bake even the corners oh let me check this out wow nice bloom system has already been done for this open hinge and you can of course put in a lot of stuff within here so very nice concept kitchen is all well taken care of you don't have to worry about your storage options so not forgetting you still have an add-on countertop here which is a movable top and this is a movable storage as well for you to put in more appliances so once this is removed when our owners move out you have that space 
up to you on how you want to design. Let me have a look at the back garden. So back garden is a place, of course, you can do gardening. Or you can use this space for your clothes drying if you want to do it here. But I'll suggest that there's no clothes drying over at level one. So just keep everything tucked on the basement level because the basement level is very well ventilated. So there are three predominant types of cluster landed strata housing. Now the very first type, which is the most common type with very boutique projects, which usually comprise of maybe about 8 to 12 strata landed properties within the whole project itself. So in the current zoning, there are two tiers of pricing if you're looking for a freehold strata. So you're either looking at between 3 to $4 million if these are freehold within the RCR or OCR region on some popular landed enclaves. If you're looking for particularly in the north portion of Singapore, usually this uh, cluster houses are already ranging between the 2.6 to 3.2 million kind of price ranges for freehold strata. So second type of cluster housing will be cluster houses that are within a 99 years kind of condominium or apartment status project. So usually these are strata housing, perhaps about 8 to 10 of them within an entire bandwidth of a condo project. The third type will be a pure strata cluster like this one. These are all strata units at one go, but importantly, it's not easy to find large scale strata projects like this one at Shawn because there are only a couple of them in Singapore. And if you want to go for full on condo facilities like this, one. These are one of the rare breeds that are available right now. So let's get on level two. The mushroom is huge. Have a look at the king bed plus the queen bed. And I want to show you this portion here. So there was a center dividing wall along this portion. So what owners have done is that they have removed that center partition wall and that is to allow them to connect to the kids room. So it's a very fun level two. In the event you want to pull back that wall, just follow the wall line. It's very easy to modify. We already have the quotation in place for you. So right now, because they have removed this, they have also done up an entire suite of wardrobe space for parents and kids together. So this is almost like a 10 panel. Both rooms are ensuite. So the ensuite bars are all intact. Fully renovated. Four panels behind the mirror storage, all done. Bottom storage, very generous storage at the bottom as well. I think the design is really done to be a very functional kind of uh, design because these are all rugged tiles, a non slip version, very easy to maintain. Vinyl flooring for the bedrooms also. And as I bring you back towards the master, you will notice that you still have a lot of space here for a dresser and a chest of drawer. The bay window has also been laminated with vinyl. So of course you can modify this into a nice cushion bay window. So this will then look towards the outside view. Let's come and have a look at the ensuite. So of course the master ensuite comes with a long bath. We love the wavy line wall tiles and as well as you have a standing shower right at opposite direction. Bathroom is really spacious and one good thing about this house is that the carpentry is almost new. Bathrooms are all done up. Living room is fantastic. Flooring is great. You don't have to do anything. Just move with your luggage immediately. Perhaps just do a nice splash of paint work on the colours that you want to have. We had a look of D27 pricing. I was looking at the per square foot pricing and when I looked through the past 200 transactions in D27, and just imagining myself, if let's say I'm looking for at least a four to five beta apartment for my family and we just want to have a little bit more space. In D27, it's almost very difficult to find a size like this at a $535 per square foot. So the asking price for this house is 1.99 million. Vis a vis a 3,714 square feet. That brings us to $535 per square foot. Is the lowest per square foot right here if you're looking for strata housing. Because the very fact that D27 is also performing pretty well over the past years, just have a look at how North Park residences, that's already doing at about 1,006 plus per square foot. Of course, that's an integrated project. Integrated projects are usually higher in terms of PSF due to its convenience. But to get a four beta right there is at least a 2.2 to 2.4 million dollars. 1,006 plus per square foot. If we flip over and have a look at just within us in this enclave right here, I compare with the other four projects around us. These are great projects as well. Signature, Kaitiron, you have Sky's Metonia, you have Metonia Residence. To get a big unit with at least 2,000 plus square feet, there are some very beautiful penthouses at Sky's Metonia going at about three odd million dollars. Also at about 1,002 plus PSF. And within this surrounding area, they're all doing all at above 1,000 PSF in terms of the current ongoing asking prices. So although this project has a lease that starts from year 2001, completion is 2007, 
development. But in terms of quantum play, we hit such a nice sweet spot of below $2 million for fully renovated five levels, 3714 square feet at the other apex. And the PSF is only $535 per square foot. So pricing below 2 mil, 535 PSF and 3714 square feet. Beautiful trifactor that is formed. And this is great if you want to have space for your families. Let me bring you into the kids' room here. Look at this. It's like, wow, this is a classroom. This is good to be a child again. <laughs> Alright, so you can stay here. Daddy, mommy can teach you. We can do some nice board games right here at this open corner as well. So this bedroom is huge. Just have a look at the sure size of it. We have six panels of wardrobes tied at the corner. Just have a look at how this design. I think your girls are going to love this room. Of course, if you want to change them, come for viewing. Our listing manager will show you or pass you the contacts. There are some companies that can just come to your home straight on. They will measure on the spot and then they will go back prefab the laminates, they will come back a second time, they will paste it here directly, it will look as good as new. This is the uh, same facing with the north northwest direction, so it's northwest 330 degrees. So west comes from very very tilt angle right here and there are three lines in front of us. You also get nice cross ventilation because we love the amount of windows right here that is preset into the design of the home. Something about sharpness is I noticed is that uh, compared to a lot of cluster houses, this Class house is huge bedrooms. Just have a look at the sure size. It's beautiful. And level three shares a common bath. So as mentioned, common bath is all done. Let's have a look at this. Oh my goodness. Nicely done for you. You have a nice little pocket area here. Wow. Okay. So additional storage over here. Something, some suggestion for you is that of course if you don't need this storage, you can use this like a mini pantry. Maybe remove this door. Put in like a water filter machine here. You don't have to go down level one to take water and stuff like that. This is the fourth bedroom, also huge bedroom. Up to you on how you want to design it. In fact, some suggestion is that if you have your kids are grown up, they want their own room, use level three to be for the kids' room area. Just now that bedroom that you see with the connecting wardrobe, use the entire level two for your own use. Use that existing kids' room now to be your home office, to be your cinema room, to be a place that you and your missus or you and your mister can just enjoy the evening while the kids are asleep. So as you come to the roof terrace deck, fantastic, some key ideas for you. Do up artificial grass right here. I've just done up my own roof terrace artificial grass. It will look lovely. Your kids will love to come up here, enjoy the night view, enjoy the sky as well. There's awnings being done, partially sheltered at this portion as well. This is the place for you to do your laundry drying. Nice space for you to design. You can put in deckings, outdoor set. Something that is cool about living in a cluster house is that when you have guests over, your guests can come up here together with you. You can chit chat all the way until the night time. You don't have to disturb your kids or family members that are in level two or level three. Shocknesses have a couple of facings. Either you face the Yishun estate or you face the current golf course or you face internally towards the pool. And most importantly is that we also want to have a look at some of the ongoing performance of the new launches that has picked up in D27. So there are two new projects that has popped up in the scene within the Canberra region recently. One is called the EC called Province Residence. Now in order to get a four beta right there, the PSF is already going at about 1,002 plus per square foot for executive condominium new launch direct from developer. So if you want to get a four beta, that's at least a 1.6 odd million dollars. Now if you want to get a four beta at Water Gardens, at Canberra. That's going at about $1,003 plus to $1,400 per square foot estimated and to get a 4 beta is at least in the range of about $1.7 odd to $1.8 odd million dollars depending on the level that you get. So coming back to this, if you buy Shonglesis from a resale market, one other key benefit is that you get to move in immediately after the 3 months completion and then you're entering at an overall quantum of $1.99 million. And most importantly, the very fact that is the $535 per square foot is a nice safety benchmark when we compare and bring all this PSF that is doing very well around us. So it's a safe benchmark to enter and I think over the years, in the mid to long run because of the fact that it's still a project that a lot of people love to live in. The holding power here is great and uh, I think there's definitely still room to go. All right, so thanks for staying with us throughout the home tour. Now, if you want to have a look at this place, the numbers to our listing managers are all right here down below and uh, give us a call if you want to have a look at the physical place via an appointment. Our content is also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. And uh, my name is Melvin Lim, Propter Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Take care. One, two, three. 
nice, your nice accessibility. Let me have a look at the back garden. <laughs> okay. It's good to be a child again. Okay? Now this is the shocknessy property Limbras today is at District 7. One more time. 